some of the basic and important things that we need to remember is that a, a community cannot thrive when hundreds of people are homeless and our housing is crumbling. Uh, housing is fundamental to ensuring that the community thrives in every other way. There are far more abandoned and vacant properties and houses in this country than there are homeless people, um, and that's true in our city as well. It is, it is the banking system in this country, it is the, the major banks. They've, uh, in, in huge numbers, have filed fraudulent foreclosure documents, um, have manipulated communities into accepting awful deals on houses. Say the banks are too big to fail. So we have to prop them up. We have to give them all these trillions of dollars. Housing is fundamentally something that we all need. And in being a human right, we should live in a world where housing is something that's accessible to absolutely everyone, where all people have the, the basic quality housing that they need, um, and where larger spaces are community controlled and, we, and we're able to decide what sort of public, uh, what sort of public spaces uh, we want and we intend to use. Um, there would be no homelessness, there would be no people in, in housing that's just absolutely falling apart. Um, and and it, ultimately the, the most important piece is that when housing is a human right, uh, it's no longer a commodity. It's not something that's bought and sold for the profits of a few elite people. In a home with a, with a single mother, um, on and off of public services. Um, we were evicted um, a number of times in Salt Lake by rising rent prices. The experience of being evicted is uh, incredibly, uh, incredibly marginalizing and scary. Um, and to see people now standing up and defending folks from eviction and standing together as communities and saying, you know, we're not gonna allow these folks to be put out of their home. Um, and to see people as an entire community standing up and demanding housing as a human right um, it really it, it shows that that those that those scary moments in my own life um, aren't necessary and and don't need to continue for other families. In the short term, the expectation is that banks will understand that uh, our public entities and our local governments and municipalities won't just sit idly by and uh, watch as their communities are decimated by bank fraud and manipulation, um, but will actually defend the communities that they supposedly represent. Um, that will ensure a huge uh, uh, ability for homeowners to negotiate with banks from here on out. The Occupy movement, what it, what it showed people was that engagement and activism and movement building and organization building are the things that really change society. Um, those, are the, those are the mechanisms that we use to, to, to ensure justice for all people. Um, and and th that's how we're going to build our own power to ensure that sort of justice. On October 16th here in Rochester, we're going to be having um, our Housing is a Human Rights March. Uh, we hope that people um, from all sectors of society, from all portions of the city, um, come out and show that we believe fundamentally that housing is a question that can be solved and addressed um, through just a shift in values in our society and in our city. Um, and that our city is actually going to stand up and say, you know, we are a housing is a human rights city. Um, and that's what we expect and that's what we, we hope that people will come out to, to demand with us. Success at, this, at the Housing is a Human Rights March is going to be hundreds of people um, from all over the city and, and surrounding area coming out to say that we think that, uh, that banks should no longer run our housing policy for us. And the only way we can do it is united the people because one thing we see is a chance of people united can't be defeated and we see it happening all over the world. They should expect uh, a, a growing movement that doesn't go away. Um, because one march we know doesn't do it, but many actions consistently um, from a broad-based popular movement um, always win.